don't do it. There is nothing that angers the real Yorubas eh, than anybody to try to push Yoruba culture, tradition, and religion to the back burner. Nothing angers. See, you will be surprised that your fellow Muslim brother that you think will support you when you bring this strange Arabian ideology to Yoruba land, it will be the first person to hold you down for the rest of us to beat you up. Hello? You will never have that grace in Yoruba land. Of course, we know the threat. We know all of those you are paying, all kind of groups you are sponsoring. If you go to a part of Ibadan right now, eh, they are convincing and converting some young, 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 young people who have never actually done anything with their lives. I am talking about some of them still in school. They are now giving them money, telling them to start a growing beard, a growing beard, right? Uh, you know, uh, reducing the size of their clothes, all right? Some of them who have no jobs, they are now encouraging them to go and marry two wives, three wives, four wives, right now in Ibadan or your state. So we have heard about you. We have heard about them. And of course, we will remind you that you are still in Yoruba land. Your Arabian idea, your jihadist idea, your violent Islam, it will never have a place in Yoruba land. And let me tell you something. Eh? If you want to start with, uh, with Yoruba culture and tradition, eh? As your, it's been like that for a while, though. but you know what you met when that happened. Nothing, nothing eh, unites the Yorubas than fighting to preserve our culture. From Ijebu eh, to Ondo, from Ondo back to Egba, from Egba to Ojo, mm, and from Ojo to Ekiti, and to Oshun, where you have Ileife, the source, we will remind you, okay, that your Islam, your, uh, what do you call it, your Muhammad and the rest, they are not more important or more powerful in any way or more relevant than the Yoruba culture and Yoruba tradition. We will remind you, we will not kind of let you import this Alimajirism, although is already being kind of uh, imported through the politics and all that. But I can tell you this for free. Even the Yoruba politicians that are going to collect the money and promote this fanatism, these ideas in Yoruba land, eh, they will tell you, eh, they will come back and tell you that, you know what? They will, they will be the sacrifice. I want Lama Ferubo. We will use them as sacrifice eh, or sacrificial lamb to our gods in Yoruba land. And guess those who are going to party there, Yoruba Muslims, Yoruba Christians, and Yorubas who don't have any religion at all. Because you cannot come for Yoruba tradition and culture and expect, whether violently, whether, whether, whether by trick, eh, you can't come for something that has existed before your Arabian imported religion. You know, no, 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 you're not going to do that. And I have seen it already. A lot of us are smart enough, okay, to read the room. And in case if you don't know, okay, the Saraki family, Olushola Saraki, the father to Bukola Saraki, is dead. Bukola Saraki, the son to Olushola Saraki, his father became rich, very rich, by going to Saudi Arabia. Meanwhile, eh, this is kind of hot, Abby. Saraki family, their original name is not Saraki. And their original origin is not from Kwara. 
they are originally from Abe Okuta in Ogun State. But when Olushola, Olushola Saraki, the father to Bukola, hmm, became uh, when he was born, he saw something. I mean, he was born in the Lawrence, so to say, oh, yeah. He saw something, he saw an opportunity. He was raised as a Muslim, right? And guess what? As a Muslim, he could use his Yoruba uh, background in a way, right? To make some money, being a Muslim. So what did he do? From the time of Olushola Saraki, eh, Saudi Arabia opened uh, their first liaison officer in Nigeria where the, where the mission was to convert as many Yorubas to Muslim as possible through sponsoring of uh, Islamic programs, schools, you know, and all that. So Saraki became so famous and very rich eh, doing that, that he even became a politician as well. Like I told you, religion, politics, politicians, policies, and the people. Now, all in one, if you are smart enough, none of them has anything to do with God. So, you are actually the pawn. They are actually trading. Olu Shola Saraki was collecting millions and millions of Saudi Arabia riyadh where money was still very much valuable. Saraki will come to Nigeria, share some of this money to different, different mosques. And in fact, he will build mosques for them. In a lawn, in a quarry, and outside Quara. So when he became a politician, it was an easy win. He gave them food. He gave them money. Eh? So who are they going to vote for? Somebody who is doing good and giving them money? Saudi Arabia money. Saraki got elected as a lawmaker. In fact, eh? he even became the leader of the National Assembly of Nigeria at a point. All of this running on the background of uh, Islam and, uh, you know, being generous. You remember Ari Shekola in Ibadan? They were doing the similar thing. But the difference was that uh, as Ari Shekola was collecting the money from the Arabian countries, promising them that they are spreading Islam in there, uh, and they actually did spread Islam. This, these two individuals, with the money they got from Saudi Arabia, God knows how many mosques. They built in Yoruba land before they died. How many are fast? It got to a stage, eh? So many of these mosques in Yoruba land, they would have to send their fast from Elori. These are fast will go from Elori. They will go to all these newly built mosques with Saudi Arabia money. A spread of Islam. None of this actually brought any sort of a development per se. But like I said, this is not an attack on your faith, too. If you see it as an attack on your faith, anyway. I have no apology for you or nothing to say than to continue what I'm saying already. Now, you see, this Saraki and gang, they never promoted anything development per se, human capital development. No, 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 no. It's about alimagirism and doubt. Alimagirism and doubt. That's what they promoted in Yoruba land. But yet, they still never succeeded. Eh? in uh, destroying Yoruba culture. They, they couldn't. You can't. So this same Saraki and their family and the rest of them, today they are now like, we don't know if they are Fulani or if they are Yoruba anymore. They've denied uh, every route that actually linked them to Yoruba and they would rather claim Northern Nigeria when it's convenient for them politically. So it's not new that you are, if today you begin to see some other people that you are giving money to, to come and promote all this strange ideology, eh? the one that will make Yorubas that are speaking Yoruba, eh? to look at Yoruba culture and tradition and say, they must be wiped out. We've done the damages already. So how far did that go with us? I mean, for us, eh? today, that same Nigeria, where you have all of this, they call them powerful mullah, powerful sheiki, powerful pastor, 
powerful bishop, rich and powerful billionaires, religious uh, entrepreneurs, pastorpreneurs. We call them pastorpreneurs. Eh? You have them everywhere in a country that you have millions of people living in poverty, in fear, and the criminal politicians who are indeed the architect of all of this, they are sleeping and they are snoring because they have peace. Because the people are not complaining. Rather than them to complain, eh, they are hoping on God. Inshallah. Vibe. And inshallah. So they fight for God. And they live their own fight for God. I haven't seen anything like that in my life. They said to protest is haram. Ladies and gentlemen, eh? stealing is not haram. Boko Haram is not haram. Kidnapping is not haram. Eh? So something is definitely wrong. So we have those you are giving the money to. And we have a message to tell you. Okay? You can spend all your money. It's not new. As you are doing that, we will ensure that we promote and we continue to promote that Yoruba tradition and culture, everything that has to do with it. Now, like never before, we are happy that we have a Gen Z. The Gen Z, eh? That no longer believe that the reason why they are poor is because they are sinners. They don't believe in that bullshit anymore. They no longer believe in that your nonsense. That maybe because they are not praying enough. That is why Nigeria is what Nigeria is. All of this, your religious fear, they are no longer working on them. What you are yet to witness is that the day you, the mob, the murderers, the jihadists, eh, the Muhammadans who want to kill people to prove your loyalty to Muhammad, one day you will rise in that Nigeria and you will actually get what you deserve. Maybe it's going to be from Yoruba land. And Yoruba should be on a lot, right? The worst thing they can do in Yoruba land is for Yoruba to kill Yoruba because of Arabian religion or because of Abrahamic religion. That is the worst that can ever happen to Yoruba land. I mean to Yoruba people in Yoruba land. And that will never happen. Once they start their madness, see, eh? You should always remind them. If you want to fight for your Muhammad and you are willing to kill somebody for that your Muhammad or you want to fight for that your God or for that your Jesus or anything at all, listen to me. If you want to kill for your Muhammad, you should go to Saudi Arabia where they born Muhammad. You will not kill Yorubas to prove a point of your religion. And you know what, what that means, eh? It simply means that... Uh, if Saudi Arabia is far, then relocate to northern Nigeria, where your idea and ideology, your toxicity, eh, is very much uh, tolerated. It won't last. It won't. Because what is all this violence, per se? Eh? What is all this telling people that uh, they should respect, they should respect their religion? She ain't mad in it. Eh? So if I disrespect you, or dis uh, do something that you feel like is uh, disrespecting your religion, so the next thing is violence. She ain't she, Irini. Eh? Somebody said that online lower only sorrow. I'm actually telling you the same thing. Nigeria lower. Enjoy it while it lasts. It doesn't take much. We are now in the era of a social media. Okay? It doesn't take much for people to actually rise up when they are compelled to. And listen, you have stones, you have matches, you have petrol. You have people that are harmless and then they're sort of a vulnerable. You, you rush them into secluded area and you mob them. Is that not the mode of operation, eh? Then people will be ready for you too. Now, when you are willing to go and stone people, eh, and they're actually ready for you, then you begin to get served in the same place. This is all this nonsense of threats. Eh? Because of your religion. Like Shemadini. Muhammad died there over 2,000 years ago. 
So you want to kill somebody in Yoruba land, for example, because of Muhammad, Shomadini. You want to prove something to who? To Muhammad, Omar de Saudi. If that happened in Yoruba land, if your, you see, if your own Islam push you to that stage, I'm a fear to who encourage people. Toma fear she to two. You don't understand. Eh? So that's the point that he pay the madness that they are importing down southern Nigeria. Let me tell you something. The other day, there was this uh, there was this guy eh, who said something. Uh, Moses Fadikpe, don't tell me to move on. I'm actually presenting my program, okay? Don't tell me to move on. You don't know what, I'm, what I want to say. You don't even know what I'm going to say next. So how do you mean by she move on? That she stop talking about it. She mad in it. Eh? She will want to mad in it. Move on from what? Uh, African Wahala. Kilotinpe or Princess, who is there? Any of you who have this banner? Get rid of that bolo, uh, that 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 is that uh, bollock. Ebanjo will ring down quickly. Eh? Move on. So make I no offend people, Abi, so that you don't want me to offend people. You don't want me to say something that will get you uncomfortable. Show madini. You have no idea of what I'm going to say. You only can move on. Move on to where? Emi atiela junshi program ni. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, African Wahala. Get rid of that uh, that bollock. Munso koto serious lo wo. Talo unfunga advice. I don't need your advice. Mufe rant. I want to rant. You they tell me to move on. Move on to where? Ibola John Law. Moses. Mabami. No, 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 no. Don't support me that way. If you are bored the way I'm doing it, you can move on. I have seen things. And I know what this simply means. I have seen some of these brainwashed idiots. They have no idea of what they are actually playing with. Eh? You they tell me to move on. Move on, Lossibo. There is this guy, eh? In this way, they are, they are like trying to do all this religious baiting, plant them here and there. They will make them look like they don't exist. It's nothing. But the end result is that you're going to see some misguided idiots that will actually rep repeat the same thing in Yoruba land. And guess what? A lot of people will be like, no, it's not going to happen. You better start sending them the warning. If your children is going to Ilekeu and they are telling him that he has to fight for Muhammad, he has to fight for any Allah in Yoruba land, you better warn your children. You should just consider that, oh, Lomo. Because we have seen them already. There is this guy. This guy is not born poor. Sure, you get. If you go to this part of Enugu, eh? there's this part of Enugu. Where you have uh, those who are Muslims, they have been there for a while. Sure, you get. And in fact, they consider themselves as Muslim or Igbo Muslims. They exist. But you know something? Despite the fact that they have existed for a very long time, anger, anger people, something. Please tell me the name of those. Uh, uh, the people, I, I can't remember the name. I read it somewhere and I've been following them since. But I can't remember the name. They have been there for decades. Not that they started yesterday or eight years ago. They are actually Igbos who practice uh, Islam. They do Ilaya, they do Ramadan, they do all those things. But you see those who are sort of outspoken among them, those known as like Afars, Sure, you get like uh, you know the idea cleric and all that. You are Muslims in uh, a supposed uh, Christian dominated uh, region, Eastern Nigeria. You've never been attacked, you've never been threatened, nobody has ever done anything to you. But the moment Bokwari came to power, those who are leading them there, they started presenting themselves as as uh, what do you call it, as victims that they are now targets. IPOB is targeting us. Uh, the Igbos, they don't like us. The, our, our other our fellow Igbos, they hate us because we are Muslims. They want to kill us because we are Muslims. This last eight years oh, of Bokwari divisive government, oh, that was when I came across them. Oh. 
So one of them is famous on Twitter. Sure you get. It's like someone, somebody saying Abdul Shuku, Abdul Shinyere, hmm? or uh, Ifani Karim, or make us see other name like that. No, they didn't do that. They just called themselves Abbas, Abbas, Abdul Kadri Shukuka, instead of Abdul Abdu Shuku. This guy is popular on Twitter, right? And there is no time he actually posts anything other than to complain that they are endangered. And he was actually seeking the attention of uh, the Islamic jihadist North. They are elite. Maybe they will see him. This guy is, was not born poor. He came from a very nice, wealthy Igbo family. Oh. Sure you get, and he's a Muslim. Oh. He, or, he did something. He translated Al-Quran to Igbo. Nobody threatened him. Oh. Sure you get. But guess what? He has been presented himself as, you know, as a victim. Uh, apostle, because of what? God knows how, what, who he is targeting and what, which kind of money he is targeting. Now, one day, he said, he remembers something, a story that he wants to share. And that story goes to us that he needed that his laptop when he was in uh, school, his laptop broke. And he needed a new laptop. And he had no money. So he decided to approach the senator representing his uh, senatorial district. So he traveled to Abuja from Enugu. He traveled to Abuja to go and see the senator that he needed a laptop. And he said, in that sense, he said, the senator rejected to help him because he is a Muslim. Are you listening? He said, that senator from Enugu rejected his plea to buy a new laptop. And it is because he is a Muslim. What? What are you talking about? You can afford a laptop. People who actually know him very well. They are like, you mad? How could you come and post this on Twitter? What do you want to achieve? If you ask a senator for a laptop and she didn't give you, what does that have to do with you are a Muslim? Or you are not a Muslim? What? what? What's this? I just, I was just, see, I, I was just reading all the comments. I was like, God damn it, man. I can tell. Make yourself look like you are a target. Okay? And then when you gain sympathy, begin to set boundaries. Because it will become what they are doing is offending me. What you just said right now offends me. You know that. Say what? She will really you need. Munsoro, low offend here. Show Martin, kill offend here. You know I'm a Muslim. What you just said right now, you know, is something that uh, normally can cause problem. Ah, Abulori Brukuni, oh yeah, let the problem start. Call your people. Oh yeah, call your other Muslims. Say, I have insulted your Muhammad. Man, call my people. Abulori Brukulele, you need. Munsoro, only more insult. That's how we are in Yoruba land. Nobody's going to run for, from you. Ah, Munsoro, only more insult, Muhammad. So, kilo marshal and see, wait to go happen now. You go go, go get matches and what? You go kill me. A year only da. Eh, uh, what? Well, is that not what will be? So, the bottom line is that uh, we know those who are trying to plant this in the people. And the purpose is, is has nothing to do with religion. That religion they are talking about. That's what I want you to know. If your religion is not does not have empathy, if your religion doesn't have sympathy, if your religion doesn't let you have humanity, or if your if your humanity, your empathy, your uh, what do you call your sympathy or what have you, is determined by those who you think have any religion similarity with you, you cannot threaten us. You and your dad, your kind of Muhammad. Oh, they threaten anybody. Show Martini. Eh? Same thing I told those ones that would tell me, my Egun, my Egun, I love your program so much. But, uh, you know, the, the, our, the, our war 
is not is not kana kini we didn't so war eh wo you know what i'm trying to say my egun in leviticus versus kini ko kini kilo ke mati leviticus oso pe odo gbolu mo ti wa amani jebuman kilo ke ara ara lefi you see concern me with ara lefi why are you quoting lefi for me kilo ke mati leviticus eh when i was telling them here they were like they come to me and say man this my egun is playing with fire ntori pe mi o accept leviticus Eh, Abimi will accept it. It's not me. At what? The other things you believe in. So then, something must happen to me. I tackled them on this part. I told them, I said, if your God is the God that actually kill or destroy people you don't like, eh, then you don't have any religion. Stop associating it with uh, any religion. You are just a you are just a lunatic, okay? That can read Quran or a lunatic that can read the Bible. And in my word, eh. Lunatics, eh? They don't dictate anything. In my word, because somebody can read Quran, Arabic, and start speaking Larubawa, language of Saudi Arabians. I am speaking English right now. It is the language of uh, the English people. Eh? If you are speaking German, are you with me? Now, German, you go, you understand in a German language. So, because you can read Quran, suddenly, because you can read Bible, and you can quote them, and you can begin to chant them, eh? So that your God is a useless God. I call it the sky daddy. They used to come to my program. They come here all the time. My ego, watch your mouth, oh. My ego, don't, I, I don't want you to say anything about pastor. I say, I buy you what pastor if you're running. Eh? Shall you what pastor if you're blown? If you're mad in I bet him mad already. Sure you get. After that, they just left me. They just left me. They are like, hey, you, you. some of them are waiting for their sky daddy to punish me because of what I said about their pastors. But up to this moment, instead of their sky daddy, they are still waiting. You know, they will be like, don't worry. You will see. You will see that God, eh? you don't insult prophets of God, my ego. Just, just ask for forgiveness. I say, or denier, or denier. The purpose of religion in Nigeria is not to lead you to any salvation. It's to lead you into frustration and poverty. Honestly speaking, those who are smart, eh, they are not, their life is not dictated by their faith. Those who are smart. For those of you who are clinging your life around this faith and that, eh, You will say the truth when the time is right. So I told them, I said, Shall you are you what the pastor ever known? A one no G O N A B W ever, you know. So they are still waiting for their, their sky daddy to do something to me. And I said, if you that is supposed to be a good person, after all they have fed you in your religion, is to look at me because you said, ah, what my ego said, I don't like what my ego said, and I feel sorry for him. I just pray that God will not come and destroy him. Ah, we read. Eh? Your God will destroy me because I have said something you don't like. Which kind of God is that? Have you ever asked yourselves? Eh? The one that uh, they ask you to, you know, they will, they, will, they, will, they will buy warehouse factories and they will turn them to a prayer center. So when people become jobless, they go straight to the prayer center to go and pray for jobs. And they said, uh, you don't say anything like that uh, in the Bible. They said, do not say, she will share what the nonsense say, what the sky daddy here in Eh? Because where I live, I don't think say the God is in, is in the sky. Yeah, where I live, we don't believe that God is in the sky. We believe that uh, God is uh, omnipresent. And what is omnipresent? You. And if you want to know where whether God exists or not, now for your heart, if that your heart in art is filled with all the evil you can think of as a cover up, Baba, you are a devil. And that is why they say God is a man, devil is a man. 
So you can see this one. Ah, man, oh my God. It was so lovely. It seems to be it's like a blessing to us. It is so amazing. It radiates love. That's somebody who is godly. We know the lie. We know the, you know. Then they say, ah, oh my God. If you want to see devil incarnate, it be like, see this person self, no be blood, they in body. The way he's thinking, the vileness, his actions, you will think he has no heart. Maybe you have all those characters, don't you? So there is God in man, there is devil in man. None of them live in the sky or under the ground. None. So when you then point to the sky and say, you will see what we people have told me that on my ego's diary political, this deluded, confused, religious lunatics on my ego's diary political. Imagine somebody telling me that. Except if he's not serving a living God. Ah, she Henry weary. That's the way I have been seeing some of them. Oh. Eh? For somebody to be telling me that, except if he is not serving a living God, that is when you are going to last seven days. You this my ego. Go and ask about me. There are so many people who have dared me. I destroy them. All it's going to take me is just three days fasting and prayer. You this my ego, seven days fasting and prayer. I will ask God to shake it. I say, ah, she ain't really weary. She ain't really weary. Eh? Seven days in a canton to dedicate seven days to my ego. Baba, if you manage, this one is not prayer. If you manage to dedicate three days for your life, I swear, you will come back on the fourth day. And you come and give my ego a gift and say, My ego, you changed my life. I thought I was going to punish you for seven days. On the fourth day, I discovered my life that I have been a mad person. You healed me. Here is my, my thanksgiving. Here is my uh, bond offering. Oh, my last last me last last. People told me that yeah, years ago, a lot of them came back. You know one thing about them, the way I know that a lot of Nigerians are actually like, uh, they are mad. Like, you know, unofficially mad. Is that one will come and say, this Mayegun, <clears throat> this Mayegun better watch his mouth. Eh? You don't talk about pastors like that too. Or else, all these things that you are, you are all this attention you are getting on social media. Eh? They will just, you, you can run mad. They can even kill you in seven days. They can even I say, ah, now, so you fear all these uh, criminal pastors, Rich? Even when me are there in Nigeria, I don't fear them that much. Oh. Sure you get. I don't fear them. The moment I, uh, from the period when they usually do their miracle, that fake miracle, hmm? where you had uh, somebody where they said he's blind, you know, Yaki Lome. Pastor! Pastor! Yeah! Pastor, pastor, yeah, talk to me. Oh, there is a young man here. He has been blind from birth. He's never seen anything in his life. Pastor, talk to me. Oh, pastor is here. He gained his sight. He can see. Oh, hallelujah. You know, those period, though, I was still a young boy. I was like, wait me this. Wait me this. Wait me this. Eh? Person where they're born, we never see in his life. Blind from birth. What is this? Green, green. Oh, what is this? Yellow, yellow. What is this? White, white. Person we never see in life. Oh. You never see color. <clears throat> Pastor, yeah. Pastor, yeah. Talk to me. There is a man here. He has never walked in his life. He came here on a witch year. He's walking to the glory of God. Oh, hallelujah. Then the person will never walk in his life. Oh, never walk in his life. He go come carry witch here. Come they run on stage. Hallelujah. I say, wait, in, wait. In. That's what miracle be. They say God can heal anybody. Pastor, yeah, talk to me. This woman had cancer. 
And when you were praying, the cancer is gone. How did you do the test? 30 minutes second. Emma, now when I knew, say, these people now are scammers. To make it worse, why I know they respect all those fear is that, you know, do bolu. Now, Babalawo, you know, we have Babalawo, we have Mamalawo, Yolorisha, we have Brother Lawo, we have Uncle Lawo, Daughter Lawo, Day, Son Lawo, Wa. Hmm? We have them there, and Babalawo is kind of, you know, like Isheshe, traditional. So if I finish eating for whether they do or don't Risha, where they don't kill a, a lady, pig, pork. And you know, one thing is that uh, if you chop, uh, Orisha pork, Orisha elede, babao, god damn it, man. Chai. Well, this was me, Orashidi. When they were, when they born me, I was a Christian. Midway, they sent me to Ileke, I became a Afa Rashid. I was Rashid. Later, they took me back to Sele, and it was not Sele, Keruba and Serafu. So you get, I went back to my old, old name, Sheishola. But when I was growing up, I, you know, I have to survive. And I have to survive around where I live. So whenever this festival, I know all, where, all the time we are doing all the festivals. Okay? So in fact, as a little kid back then, yeah? Whenever we are reading this uh, January, February, March, April, you know, all these months in a year. So the Yoruba part of it is like, tells you the importance of uh, Yoruba months and what happened in those months, okay? So, for example, they say, Share a relay, a reno, e be o bibi o kudu, a gemo o gun o wewe, o warabe lu o kwe. Like a song, as a kid. So, when I finish, when I finish eating where they are doing the Orisha, with the very solid eba, I will go and play. When I finish running about, play football, do all of this, that one digests. Eh? We move to where they are doing Agbo. Agbo is another masquerade that, you know, very, very lovely. Agbo will go there, will chop uh, uh, whatever they have to offer. So that's for the day. If the following day we are doing or doing gugun that we normally do for 21 days, that one is like, ah, long show. You know where they say, you know that uh, Yoruba proverb that said, Nkotonton, Lord Duegun, Omola Agba. She ma pada lo for kara. Ma tell you the English of it. A gugu masquerade is something that will eventually come to an end. And the son to the la agba, la agba is like uh, the head of uh, a gugu uh, festival or a gugu tradition or religion. So that la agba is like bishop over a gugu. Because although a gugu always lasts long, sometimes 16 days, sometimes, eh? 21 days. And for those 21 days, now free food to morning to evening, morning to evening, morning to evening. But one day, one day, all of that go hand. Everybody will have to go and buy food to eat. That's why they said that uh, So your are so grounded, so rich that if you are reading our months in a year, like I said, eh? you will get to see the originality, our, our religion embedded or embedded in them. So when I finish eating, uh, what is it they call it? From the Orisha people. I will go and eat from the Egugu people. Eh? When those ones finish, I will go and read, uh, I mean, I eat uh, the Lailatu Le Kodri, bread and tea. Because I have to be there. I am Rashid, remember? Abdul Rashid. And I can recite some section of Quran. Back then, no, I have forgotten a lot of them now, unfortunately. Life happens, so don't blame me, okay? I can still recite a Fatia. And that's the most important one, Fatia. And I can pray. Abi, but nevertheless, back then, when I finished from all those places, I go join them for, like, Latuli Kodri. So you get, I go chop. When they finish there, when they are doing the Kore for Sele, I know they go Sele. In fact, Sele, I was a bit kind of afraid of Sele back then because the way they were doing, I was like, oh, man, this one's, this one's bad. Oh, like, eh, this one's spiritual. As a kid, but I would still go there and chop. Ikori, 
when they are doing ikori when they are doing ikori omode ikori agba ikori okunrin ikori obirin ikori eh, diaspora ikori eh, local agode dia i know all the churches in odogbolu that was how i grew up now growing up that way i also saw the beginning of pentecostal churches spreading in nigeria i was born in that generation so i started seeing those who, st who were like bringing up different churches winners chapel four square uh this one uh, that one in odogbolu and they always remind me of uh, what my mom told me when my mom was telling me about churches when i was a little boy my mother was talking about a church called church elekun they said there was a church where all they do is cry. Sure, you get church here. When they are praying, they cry. Now I realize that as Yorubas, that was so strange to us or to my parents' generation that they called them church here. It was when the Pentecostal came that I realized that it was partly Pentecostal way of praying and crying that my mother called church here. The crying people, the crying church. That why would I go to church and be crying? That was my mom. My mom said then. So as a little boy, I never saw church eleku until Pentecostal came. So when people are praying, Father, Father, please, oh Lord, I'm like, why are they crying? Like why are they crying? Oh my God, oh my God, like this is what my mom said though. Like, I was a little boy. Don't blame me. Again, don't blame me. I practice all religion. So I would just be like, oh, she's crying. Then, later, I started singing. And now, because of waiting man go chop too true, true. But then they feed me with uh, the, the food of faith. The food of, you know, God. Faith. And other food, too. Then they started making this, uh, and I'm like, what's he saying? Kill on so. And I don't like not understanding something people are saying. So when you go to Sele or CNS, eh, they have their languages that you just be like, ah, Lori. Some of them like that, yeah? Now, the reason why I'm telling you all of this, my background, is, the, is because you will look at me and you will think I am one of those people you see on social media who suddenly want to start, start sounding woke. No, I'm not one of them. I'm an old man. I'm beginning to be an old man now, okay? When I was growing up in Odogbolu, now we babalawo for Odogbolu, now we they do aworo for your pastors from Lagos, from Ibadan, from everywhere they come from. They will come to Odogbolu, my hometown. They will buy cow. And as a little boy, I know one or two things. I can still remember one or two things that we have to do. If you want to do a waru for your church, where you are going to be reciting Genesis verse this, Genesis 13 verse Kinikon, where you are going to be performing miracle, eh? where you're going to be calling Jesus, Jesus. I am from Odogolu, don't forget to. Sometimes they will have to send me and some of my friends to go and show your pastor the kind of a way, the kind of a leaf he will need to go and pluck. Because for that thing to work, he will need to pluck them by his, with his own hand. He has to take them by his hand. We can't take them for him. We were virgin. You know, we're virgins. We're little boy virgins. So that's why we're so useful too. They can send us to do things because we were virgins. So if to say, I become Abrahamic, Abrahamic a religionist, whether I become an afar or I become a, a pastor, right now I can begin to use my own uh, testimony to say God delivered me because devil was, I was a devil son. Can you call, can you call God deliver? And all of you will shout, hallelujah, praise God. I thank God for your life. God is so wonderful. Pastor, every time you tell us that story of how God delivered you, I always praise God for your life, Pastor Mayegu. And I was just like, it's okay. If God can deliver me, he can deliver you too. Just give me your money. Just give me your money. If you want God that delivered me to deliver you, come here. Let me pray for you. Story. That's why I don't have respect for your pastors.
I'm sorry. Nothing they do actually freaks me. But I kind of love them when they don't do that uh, theatrical impression. When they preach, I love preaching. I love people who kind of uh, are able to uh, infuse what their faith and then uh, all this, uh, uh, what have you, they infuse them into teaching people about something. Okay? Not passing fear to them. I love listening to pastors too. I just don't like it when they begin to play play on your own uh, intelligence. When they begin to play on your humanity, trying to manipulate you, using that same as, hey, Benny, stop. Stop there. So you are with any. You don't go far, Baba. I don't be your customer. Look at me very well. I'll be my ego. I'm not your customer. I'm going to talk man to man now. So I witness all of that. That's why they don't freak me. You are far. It was in Odo Bolu that I saw afar. Eh? Supposed that far, that call people a label, a label. He learned he afar. He get glass, he get mirror. When they take check it in, he say afar. Let me check. Let me will life me. Afar. Eh, Joe. Eh, oh, Jamie, oh, Lord, I am no longer selling well. Afar, what do you think I can do? They are in Odo Bolu. And now them too. They are all over Egypt, by the way. Now them too. We'll be going about the Makpalangba, Alangba, Lomangpalo, Dogbolu, Alangba. Again, don't blame me. I was just a little kid. Because at some point, I had to go and kill Alangba for some affairs. Sure you get. Alangba is lizard. You know that lizard with red head. Akolo Dogbo. Eh? Eh, now, now afar, I've, I've seen, now afar, from afar, and I saw where they burn them to, to Lebu. And they use the label for God knows what. But me, I'm just a little, I was just a little kid. And they will pay, Afa will give us money. Eh? Afa will call us and say, ah, eh, say he? Oh, my God, da, da, da. Oh, Kuri, can say. Look, my God, they want to jump ball. Go and call me all your friends that you are playing. Come here. Yeah, there, Bawulu. I will be finishing. Oh, yeah. 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 So then we will negotiate afar. How much are you going to give? Hey, look, Palang, Bawa, ya, ya, can you offer you a little bit Because Yahweh Afa also said food. So we'll go, we'll come back. Yahweh Afa, when we say, if you if you kill up to 30, Afa will give you 10 naira. Yahweh Afa will give you yam and egg. I mean, sorry, yam and beans. So they'll give us yam and beans. We'll take yam and beans. Me, anyone where I kill, if I no kill up to 30, at least I will still collect yam and beans. Now the same people will be telling you that in uh, unan law, a lebo, a bo let say, a fa, I mean, hey, a bo, a bo, a lo, unlo di se bo, a bo, a bo, he say, can you go, ori, ori, buti, bany. I grew up around them. I know them very well. No do bolu. You see, I keep telling you, do bolu, do bolu. I want to tell you, I want to tell you, do. That, that river, that uh, stream that you saw the women who are practicing their own religion, that they got attacked in Elori, in Odo Ogbolu, will they follow them? Go. You will see all these girls. Now there you go see some of the girls you like, your schoolmates. If they come to school with you, and you don't, you don't hire them like, say, ah, moment. Because now that time, eh, as little kids, as, as young as we were, that was when we were going to see them in their purity, in their pureness. They will carry all the calabash. They will, they, will, they will tie the white wrapper. And they will form a long queue. They are going to the river. We will go follow them. Because when they come back, eh, and they start all the party, okay, and they start serving the food, you just don't want to miss any of that. That's how I grew up. And that is why, if I am talking to you about religion, I am talking from experience. It never serves anybody's interest whenever they try to hold the public to ransom based on a certain teaching. It doesn't exist. If you go to the same Elori, eh, Afai Lori in the Emirates, Afai, Afai's wife, uh, Alagbuomoni, you see her, she's selling Agbuomo, Iranio. If you go inside, it's not just Agbuomo that she's selling, oh. she's also selling pots, she's selling other things, Lekuleja, she's selling egg, she's selling things that they will use for rituals, the same Yoruba ritual, oh. they do that in the Lori. But the hypocrite, eh? 
to tell you that they love their really their their Muhammad and all that other nonsense they they postulate. Eh? They want to show off like that. Ah, Nibel. So you get. So it goes both ways. Do not let any of them use your faith, your religion to manipulate you. When you look at those who use them, all they wanted is to, to spread fear. And when you are scared, there are other things they get away with, including bad government. These guys were threatening people that if they don't vote for a Muslim in, their next, in, the, in the past election, there will be war. We saw that. And then they turn around. They said, oh, Islamophobia. Islam. in Italian wine. Eh? So the ideal thing is that uh, if they cannot be angry with uh, their criminal leaders, with the poverty all over Nigeria, if they can't be angry with their criminal leaders over corruption, looting, and all those vices, they can go to hell in their fake rage against Davido. I'll leave it at that. I've got more for you tonight. Do you know that Lagos State Government that denied that nobody died at Lekito Gates, they are about to bury, to secretly bury 103 corpses. The children of uh, people they killed, eh? Nigerians, young people they killed three years ago. They want to bury them in a secret grave. There was, a, there was an NSAS panel. The panel, the families of these people, they attended the panel. They pleaded with the state government to release all their, 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 their corpses to them, to go and bury them. The Lagos state government denied them. Today, they want to use 61.2 million naira to bury 103 bodies from NSAS. Ah, I lay in my heart. I don't think you want to miss it. Meanwhile, Kolu also said that if there is going to be any rerun, Peter Obi must not be part of it. It should be him and Atifku only. Again, you don't want to miss it. I'll see you then. Eh? Good night.
and yes, right. I am and yes, right. I am and yes, right. My my